Makes me vibes here. Part two to the roommate story. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, it's about three or so of my previous videos down. Go watch that. I talk about how my roommate sold his soul to the devil. True story. I didn't lie about anything. I'm not gonna lie about this one. This is part two. If you're eating right now, I suggest you just hold off until you finish. Just because it's kind of gross. I don't want to spoil your appetite, you know? So, this was last year around this time. This was in May of last year, Memorial Day. Again, I had moved into my house with my roommates and I just got laid off at the time and I started working at Kroger, a grocery store, like I said. And, excuse me. And for that day, I was gonna invite two friends over because I, had anybody, I hadn't had anybody there and so I wanted to invite my two friends over and cook some veggie burgers, cook some food, some tater tots, things like that. Well, the day before, it was kind of junky. So I already kind of had mentioned to my roommates, like, hey, you know, I might invite some friends over tomorrow. So, you know, I'm gonna try to clean up if you guys can clean up too. So I cleaned like my part, whatever I had to do. They didn't clean theirs. It was like, whatever. I went to sleep early. Next day, so this is the day of Memorial Day. I get up at like six o'clock, so it's almost seven, right? And my I hear someone in the kitchen. Now my roommates usually don't wake up to around eleven or twelve, and so I'm kind of like, "Is that them? Like, is it somebody broke in? What?" So I walk to the kitchen slowly with my dog. I look in and I see the girl, female. I see her lying down on her side right facing toward the front door with her back toward me she was completely naked um the boyfriend was in his room sleeping i'm assuming yeah he was he was sleeping and she was fully naked and i'm looking like what the like what is going on right just because it's six something i'm thinking did they drink too much like what what, what happened so i take my dog outside and I look over and I see all of the bottles, I guess, that they drank, you know, or had some people, you know, over and drank. I'm not sure. I take my dog out, let him on around, whatever. I walked in. I said, I kind of looked off to the side. I didn't want to just stare. I'm like, hey, are you okay? And she was like, she didn't say anything. No response. I asked again. I was like, hey, you're okay. She's like, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, shit. I already knew right then she was hungover, maybe had too much. So she's like, mm, mm. so she kind of sits up to the side, right? Has her legs hanging out like this. And she kind of leaned up to the side. I'm like, hey, do you want me to go tell your boyfriend? Like, she's like, mm, no, no. I'm like, you sure? At that point, she gets up and I see brown smeared all over her ass. And I see brown all about her feet smeared. You can see where I'm going with this, right? And so she has a towel in front of her that she picks up and puts in the sink. And I kind of, I'm kind of looking like, like what the, she walks back to her room because our rooms are kind of close. She walks back to her room and grabs like, I guess in the hallway, she had like this little sheer see-through dress, whatever. She wraps around her waist again, but I see the front of her. So I didn't see her front and back fully naked. I, I peek around the corner and I'm looking down the hallway and she kind of looks at me and just walks in the room and slams the door. I'm like, okay. I walk over. I smell it. Shit. She shit all over the floor, right? It's smeared right here, just like in a pile. And I look at the towel. The towel has shit on it. So not only is it shit on the floor, right? Because again, I saw it on her ass. She, she put a shitty big towel, like a bath towel, in the sink right next to the dishes. The place looks a mess because all the bottles outside on top of like the newspaper and, and you know all, all the seasonings everything that's on the counter and you know you guys i'm a pretty chill guy i try not to get upset like that i try to keep my cool but honestly i i, I lost it because i just wanted to be clean to cook for my friends memorial day i'm off of work they're off of work we work at the same place and they're supposed to come over around 11 30 or 12 and luckily it's seven something so i got time to try to clean up or whatever 
I walked back in there and they were asleep. I said, uh, hey, um, I'm not gonna call his name. I'm like, hey, can you go check it? Like, hello, hello? He didn't answer. I'm like, okay, I'll just call him because I want to go grocery shopping. So I left. I left the shit like it was. Literally, I left like it was. I got in my car and went grocery shopping, okay? Came back. Actually, before I came back, I went and picked up my friend. I, was, I texted him around 10. I'm like, hey, could you go in the kitchen and clean up? Because, you know, it, she did this and da-da-da-da. He didn't respond. I'm like, please, God. Please let the place be clean. I picked up my friend. I told her, I said, hey, wait in the car. Let me go put let me go put the groceries up. Just wait, give me like 10 minutes. She's like, okay. Walked in, shit still on the floor smeared. Shit, shitty towel still in the sink. At this point, I go fucking super saiyan. Like I am pissed. So I, I go knock on his door, open the room. I'm like, hey. And now I'm using my my voice. I'm projecting. I'm like, hey. I'm like, don't, bro, like, you didn't get my message? And he's like, wakes up, like, yo, what's wrong? I'm like, bro, have you been to the kitchen? He's like, no. He's, again, I woke him out of sleep. She's over, she's right next to beside him sleep. I'm like, hey, your girl just shit on the floor. He's like, what? I'm like, she just shit on the floor. So she starts to wake up. I'm like, hey, what happened last night? Did you guys drink too much? Because that shit on the floor, that shit in the, in, in the sink, and I have my friends coming over. My friend is literally outside in the car. Like, what are you guys doing? He was like, oh, and she's like, I didn't do that. I'm like, what? I just look at this. Hmm. I just look at this girl like, what are you talking about? I literally seen you this morning. You were buck ass naked, fully. And he was like, what? I'm like, yeah, she was naked. Um, and she shit on the floor. She gets up. She goes in the kitchen. She starts to wipe it up. And I'm sitting here like, hey, we're adults here. No, I, I said it worse than that. I'm like, we're adults here because I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm like, we're adults. And I shouldn't have to clean up behind you guys. I should not have to tell you to act like a decent human being, right? To have some decency about yourself. Like, your bed is literally not even five feet away from the kitchen you could literally just walk in there you could walk you have a bathroom in your room like go in there and shit don't sit on the floor bro like that's what i mean when i say at that point i was like i'm i'm not living with anybody ever again like even with shit a fucking girlfriend you live at your house i live at mine bro because I, I just can't do it i cannot do it and the thing about it was is he got so upset like he walked in there was like stop berating her stop making her feel like this like you need to take some responsibility too i'm like you see how he tried to flip the switch like oh like it's my fault it's my fault that she did this on the floor and put it in the sink like it's my fault right i'm like bro what are you talking about i'm just i'm just saying he's like i know we get your point whatever i said okay walked in there shut the door tell my friend i said yeah you can come in she's like why it smell like that and I'm super embarrassed. I don't know what to say because that's a reflection of me because it's like I'm living with these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a reflection, but it is. I'm just kind of in my head like, you know, whatever, bro. Like, so I, I just want to say again, guys, if you are about to have a roommate or you're about to move in with somebody or they're going to move in with you, just really vet them to, to see what they would be like of course you fully won't know until they move in with you but just be careful about that because so what i did was i end up going to the people who were leasing the house for us right and i told them like hey i got laid off because of covid and i'm working you know part-time in the grocery store i cannot afford to live here and pay my portion of the rent which i had money saved up but i was done at that point it was like two to three weeks later i was done and so they were like, okay, if they find another person to move in, it's cool. We'll take your name off the lease. And I was like, oh, thank God. Like, whew. so I text them that they texted me back. Like, I kid you, it was not even like 30 minutes later. It was like, we got somebody. I was like, what? They was like, yeah, uh, our friend, da, 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 he's going to move in with us. You cool. Like, you good. And I got there and they was like, hey, can we talk about it? Da, 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 da. I'm like, what's there to talk about? I just told them, I was like, uh, you know, guys, I got to move out. I can't afford it no more. You know, 
and it was like okay i wish you guys i wish you would have just gave us more time like is there anything we can pay to help you can, you know like we'll help you on this next month rent i'm saying no you could you could you could it's okay uh my mom said i can come back and live with her i'm fine and so i moved out at that point i moved out guys you gotta understand like i'm big on being like clean you know and for them to do that in the middle of the floor with literally my friend outside in the car <sighs> anyway just be careful guys that's all i want to say it's just when i when i think about that story i'm kind of like why did i put myself through that why did i allow myself to go through things like that but it, it, it taught me a lesson you know so i'm not fully fully upset it's just at the time you know it's not something that you want to experience but anyway i'll see you guys in the next video of course all right it makes me out